200 years ago. The breakdown of the organ in St. Nicholas Church in Obendorf, Austria, created the need for music other than that originally planned for the Christmas Eve Midnight Mass. Thus, on December 24, 1818, Joseph Moore, the church's young assistant priest, brought the six stanza carol text he had written to Franz Gruber, parish organist and teacher in the village school, with the request that he set it to music. That night, the two sang the hymn with Gruber accompanying on guitar. The tune and text were published in Leipzig 20 years later. On and around Christmas Day 1914, the sounds of rifles firing and shells exploding faded in a number of places along the Western Front. To the sounds of Christmas celebrations in the trenches and gestures of goodwill between enemies. It was a beautiful moonlit night, frost on the ground, white almost everywhere. And about seven or eight in the evening, there was a lot of commotion in the German trenches, and there were these lights. I don't know what they were. And then they sang Silent Night, Stille Nacht. I shall never forget it. It was one of the highlights of my life. I thought, what a beautiful tune. Private Albert Morin, 2nd Queen's Regiment. Then, suddenly, lights began to appear along the German parapet, which were evidently makeshift Christmas trees, adorned with lighted candles, which burned steadily in the still, frosty air. First the Germans would sing one of their carols, and then we would sing one of ours. Until when we started up, O come all ye faithful, the Germans immediately joined in singing the same hymn with the Latin words, Adeste Fidelis. And I thought, well, this really is a most extraordinary thing. Two nations, both singing the same carol in the middle of a war. Rifleman Graham Williams, 5th London Rifle Brigade. I shouted to our enemies that we did not wish to shoot and that we make a Christmas truce. I said I would come from my side and we could speak with each other. First, there was silence. Then I shouted once more, invited them, and the British shouted no shooting. Then a man came out of the trenches and I on my side did the same. And so we came together and we shook hands a bit cautiously. Captain Joseph Sewald, Germany's 17th Bavarian Regiment.
an interpreter wrote them out in German. They were read first in English by our padre, and then in German by a boy who was studying for the ministry. It was an extraordinary and most wonderful sight. The Germans formed up on one side, the English on the other, the officers standing in front, every head bared. Second Lieutenant Arthur Pelham Byrne of the Sixth Gordon Highlanders. Eventually, the English brought a soccer ball from their trenches, and pretty soon, a lively game ensued. How marvelously wonderful, yet how strange it was. The English officers felt the same way about it. Thus Christmas, the celebration of love, managed to bring mortal enemies together as our friends for a time. Lieutenant Kurt Zamisch, Germany's 134th Saxons Infantry Regiment, 